Welcome to Mark's Motorsports and Farming channel. Uh, I'll do a little update here on our 8640 four wheel drive here. Uh, what happened to this and turned out to be a season ending breakdown. Uh, number one, having that. Uh, Fuel lines start leaking, like like I showed in the last video I did on this tractor, and and then uh, then then all of a sudden we couldn't get the get it started, and we replaced the ignition key assembly there, like like I pointed out in, in the last video, and that didn't help anything, and, and then another farmer that that we know of suggested we try jump starting it you know because sometimes batteries can can go dead even when they're fully charged even when they're not very old so we tried that and still nothing and so now uh, it, it appears that for some reason the current from the battery is, is not getting from the ignition key up to the starter. So I'm guessing there's something that went out in, in between there. And could be the solenoid, which I I personally don't, but you know even though it has been the case in the past. But I'm guessing there's some sort of relay along the way or something like that that's not, not allowing the, the current to get from the ignition key up to the solenoid in the starter. So, so the next step, pretty sure we'll have to get a John Deere technician technician out here and diagnose the problem and so we can get this thing started and, and get put away for the winter uh, yes we we did give up on plowing for the year just because how much frost is in the ground and it, when I saw I saw another farmer try plowing some ground that that was Harvested after any of mine was, and, and he didn't get very far and realized that wasn't going to go. So then he picked it up out of the ground and took it back to his home and put put it away for for the winter as well. So so that's the lead. so there's a update for you on on this. 8640 four-wheel drive, which the fuel line leaking ended up being a season-ending breakdown here, and and now we'll we'll have to get a John Deere technician out here to try to get this thing started so we can get it put away for the winter, and get our paw unhooked and this tractor inside the shed for the winter, and then. Then we'll get the tillage done in the spring that, that we weren't able to get done this fall. So and then uh, that way, once it's running, we'll we'll know if the fuel line up here that that we just put in, you guys can see that or not. I see part of it there. And we'll, we'll know if, if that's tight enough or, or if we have to tight, tighten some things on that or, you know, either two things can happen. Either, either it'll squirt out a little bit while we're putting stuff away and then we'll know that we have to tighten things or everything will be tight enough and there won't be any, any leaks at all. So thank you guys for watching these videos. I very much appreciate it. Uh, 
if you like what you see, be sure to hit the like button and also be sure to hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch you later.